Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. Tonight we have another special episode. We've got a bottle of Antique 107. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what all the hype is about. Alright, so first a brief history of this whiskey and how it got the Weller name. So William LaRue Weller is the founder of this product and way back when in 1849, William LaRue Weller decided he wanted to start making whiskey. And he was one of the first distillers in Kentucky. Now, but what he did that was slightly different was instead of using rye as part of his mash bill, he decided to replace that rye with wheat. And as many Weller bottles say, he's credited as being the first to distill bourbon with wheat in it. Now, that is not necessarily historical, and it's very debated as, as to if that's actually true. But nonetheless, he gets the credit on this bottle and most bottles, as we see here, the original weeded bourbon. Now, we've already reviewed the Weller Special Reserve, and this is kind of the next step up in the Weller line. And this bottle is very sought after. Uh, many people like this better than even the 12 year, and I've heard people say that they even like it better than the full proof. So let's get into it and see what all the hype is about. All right, so here is our glass. We have our bottle. Let's get this thing poured. And as you can see, this thing is not even opened yet. So let's take the gold seal off here and see. Well, I guess we're just gonna throw that on the ground for now. I'll pick that up later. And look at that nice gold top. Yeah, that's a nice little extra touch. But hopefully they've spent as much time on the juice inside as they have the bottle and all the gold frills. Let's get this thing poured. I actually paid retail for this, which makes me one of the lucky ones, because if you're aware of the secondary market, then you know this, this thing goes from anywhere from like 150 to $200, and I've seen even higher than that, which I think is insane, but maybe it's worth it. Let's see what it smells like. I gotta say immediately, that is a very nice nose. I mean, really rich caramel, brown sugar, cinnamon, like roasted dark fruits. I would say very much a like roasted date. Now at my sister's wedding, I actually had roasted bacon wrapped dates. And this kind of reminds me of that. I mean, just really rich, sweet, salty, sugary dates. Man, that is really nice I, I i wish you guys could smell this if you have a bottle at home then smell along with me and then you're getting some really rich oak notes and it's not a sour oak it's definitely like a toasted oak uh just man it, this is very nice on the nose but i think i'm spending too much time on the nose let's get to what really matters and that is the taste so if you saw my Weller Special Reserve review, then you know that I was not a huge fan. I think it's okay. But this is a whole different animal. 17 proof really helps out the Weller line. Uh, this is just so much richer, so much more fuller flavor, uh, just bolder flavors. I mean, the, the, the flavors just really punch through. I mean, you're getting just rich caramel, just like you got on the nose, and a really rich, nice brown sugar notes. Uh, there is a hint of cinnamon there, but they're, they're not really spiky. It, it's, it's very smoothed out as far as the, the kind of the, the spicy notes. Um, and then too, you're getting like a, like a rich tobacco and that those kind of roasted date notes uh, are showing up on the palate as well. Uh, let's give this one more sip here. See what we can get second time around. Okay, one thing I will say, and I, I found this in the Special Reserve as well, 
is that there is this kind of ethanol note. It's not nearly as present as in this as it is the Special Reserve, but there is this ethanol note that seems to show up in, in Weller products. I, I think that dings it a little bit as far as it being just a superb whiskey, but even with that said, this is a very nice sipping whiskey. Now I paid $65 for it. I think it's worth every bit of that. Um, I would actually, I, I might even go up to maybe 80, but that would kind of be the absolute ceiling for this for me. Um, I, as I said earlier, I've seen it way, way higher than that. And I just, I don't think it's worth that much. Now, if you compare it to other barrel proofs, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I think Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is better and it's around the same price point. It's, it should be, honestly, MSRP is like $70. I think that is a better bottle. It is a little proofier, so if you're not a proof hound and you want something a little lower proof, maybe you prefer this. But I think the flavors in Elijah Craig Barrel Proof are better. And then there are several other barrel proofs around me here that I think are better such as the Russell's Reserve. Now that's a completely different profile, but I think the flavors in that are equally as nice. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily better, but it's a different experience and you're not getting the sharp ethanol note near the back of the finish. Uh, and that is available all the time for around 60 to $65. I've never seen it allocated anywhere. Even in Kentucky, it's always available. Um, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, of course, you're in Kentucky, so it's all, always available. Actually, Kentucky is not the gold mine that you think it is. I said this in another video before. Kentucky actually has terrible problems with stores charging secondary prices. It happens all the time. That's why this was a fine for 65, because I've never seen it for under 100. Uh, so don't come to Kentucky thinking that you're going to find all the bourbon you ever wanted for MSRP. It's not going to happen. I can promise you. I've drove all around Kentucky many times and almost no shops sell it for MSRP. The only ones that do are the big guys, Kroger, Liquor Barn, uh, Total Wine, and they, even then you have to be there when the truck shows up. So something to keep in mind if you're really hunting for this is you have to be there at a store that sells it at MSRP when the truck gets there. So good luck with that because you have maybe an hour to get it. And I think that's even being generous. Of course, I realize that's partly due to the whiskey market and there's not a whole lot we can do about that other than encourage our friends to stop paying ridiculous prices for these bottles. Just stop doing it. Why would you pay a 200% markup for this bottle. It's good, but it's not $200 good. And if you can get it at MSRP, then that is where you want to be. Then it's a great value. Now, with all that said, folks, I think it is a good bourbon. I just think it's overpriced in a lot of areas. But as always, folks, you can never have too much good whiskey.